Hello, welcome to Chapter 8, Section 2, Factoring by the GCF. I am on page 535 in the textbook. The PDF, it's page 16. And we're going to be doing problems 1 through 10, which actually is a lot of problems. So we're going to be going these at a pretty decent clip. All right, let's get started. I'm going to be factoring by the greatest common factor, the GCF. Think about prime numbers and think about exponents for the variables. 15 prime numbers 3 times 5. I only have 1a there so I just multiply by a. Subtract. 5 is already prime. Think about exponents. a to sorry, I got the hiccups. a to the second power means a times a. Now this term and that term, I have two terms, what do they share in common? They both have a 5 and they both have an a. So my greatest common factor is 5 times a. What got left behind? The 3, the subtract, and the other a. So that's 5a times 3 subtract a. Problem number 2. Think primes. 10 is 2 times 5. Both of those are prime. Think factoring by the exponents. Think about the exponents. This is g times g times g. Subtract. Think primes. 3 is already prime. And there's only one g there. And, and no, that's not an internet joke. Okay? All right. 2 times 5. There's no 2s or 5s over here. 3s here. There's no 3s over here. So it does not have a common um, constant factor. I have g times g times g, I have 1g over here. So it has a common factor of g. What got left behind? 2 times 5 is 10, g times g is g squared. 10 g to the second power. What got left behind? The subtract 3. I was thinking more would come out of that one, but not so. Think prime. Negative 35, don't forget the negative negative 1. 35 is 5 times 7. And of course I have the x. 42 is 2 times 21. 21 is 3 times 7. So what factor is here that's also here? The only thing I see is the 7. So my greatest common factor is 7. Negative 1 times 5 times x is negative 5x. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 6. Number 4. Negative 4 is negative 1 times 2 times 2. x to the second power is x times x. Negative 6x, and since I already have a negative 1 here, and I have a negative here, I know I'm going to have negative 1 as my common factor. So I'm going to put plus negative 1, 6 is 2 times 3, and of course times the x. So that's what I was talking about. They both have a negative 1. They also both have a common factor of 2, and they both have an x. And by the way, it didn't matter which x I picked. That's fine. So my GCF is negative 2x. What got left behind? 2 times x, and plus 3. And yes, there are a lot in this section, so I will try to go through these relatively quickly. Now I have a trinomial with three terms. Whatever the GCF is, it has to be in all three terms. 12 is 2 times 6, which is 2 times 3. And I got 1, 2, 3, 4 H's. 8 is 2 times 4, which is 2 times 2. And I've got H times H. And then 6 is 2 times 3, and I only have 1 H there. So what's here that's also here that's also here? They all have a 2. Now there's more 2's here and more 2's here, but that's it. It has to be in all 3. There's no more 2's over here. There is, however, a 3 here and a 3 here, but there's no 3's here. It has to be in all of them. Okay. So the common factor is 2. What about the variables? Well, 
I have only one H that I can pull out of here. So that means I'm going to pull that one and pull that one. So my common factor is just 2H. What got left behind? 2 times 3 is 6, and I got 1, 2, 3, 6, H to the third power. 2 times 2 is 4 with another H, plus 4 H. And what got left in the last part? Subtract 3. Number 6. This is 3 times X times X. Subtract 3 times 3 times X, plus 3. The only thing these terms have in common is the 3. So my greatest common factor is 3. x times x is x to the second power. Subtract 3 times x. And one more time, remember, if I take everything away, what got left behind was 1, not 0. We'll see that with this one. 9 is 3 times 3. And m squared is m times m. And of course, m is m times 1. What do these all have in common? Here's 3's, but there's no 3's over here. Here's an m, here's an m. So my common factor is m times 9m plus 1. And you know what? I'm not a big fan of just using random letters for other stuff. Usually the letters stand for things. Just want to throw that out there. Like H could stand for height, which in that case, that's fine. All right. 14 is 2 times 7. N to the third power, N times N times N. I know I'm from Indiana, so my N sound like N's. 7N is 7 times N. And 7N squared is 7 times N times N. <laughs> All right, here's a seven, there's a seven, there's a seven. They all have a seven. That's the only common constant that they have. Here's a two, but that's it. They all have an n. Here's an n, here's an n, here's an n. So my common factor is seven times n. What got left behind? Two times n times n, two n squared to the second power. What got left behind here? I took both of them. Remember, if you're gonna take everything, the thing that got left behind is the hidden 1, so plus 1. And of course what got left behind here was the other n. Alright, 36 is 2 times 18, which is 2 times 9, which is 3 times 3, times f. 18 is 2 times 9, which is 3 times 3, times f, times f. And 3, I see a 3 here, a 3 here, and a 3 here. I think I'm going to take a 3 out, so I'm going to put times 1 there. And actually, that's the only thing that I have. 3 times 3, I'm oh, sorry, 3, 3, and 3. So my greatest common factor is 3. 2 times 2 times 3, that's 12f. 2 times 3 times f times f is 6f to the second power. And of course, got to leave that 1. And then finally, for problem number 10, I have negative 1, 15 is 3 times 5, and b to the second power is b times b. 7 times b, because 7 is already prime. Negative 1, 3, 5, 7, no common factor there. b times b time, with a b over here, common factor is just b. So factoring, I get b times negative 15 b plus 7. The only thing I could factor out was one of the b's. Alright, we'll see you in the next video.